I knew that in order to win her love, I needed to get rid of the human garbage, otherwise known as my best friends. Bonnie, how do you keep getting back in? I'm a drunk. I don't know nothing about how I do anything. Hello, Plague Volcarb here with a new episode of RBY Bites. If you've been following my channel for a while, you've probably seen my series of videos where I discuss Pokemon that have fallen from Gen 1 overused. However, there are some Pokemon that have risen and stayed there as well. One of these Pokemon is Jolteon, although it took quite a few attempts to keep it there. Jolteon is one of the earliest competitive Pokemon discovered, being shown on 64 Mario Stadium episodes as soon as the 4th of May 1997, the first day the tournament format was announced. This was also around the same time as Alakazam's discovery, but months before Tauros would even be recognised. In the original competitive formats, Jolteon is seen as one of the best Pokemon available. However, when you venture outside of the Bring 6 Pick 3 formats of old and into 6v6, Jolteon is seen as one of the most controversial Pokemon viability wise. From the first documented RBY tier lists on Smogon, Jolteon was Borderline, a defunct tier that was designed for Pokemon that have a niche in RBY OU but couldn't quite cut it and started to play. However, Jolteon was indisputably the best of the bunch, and players would argue its viability even here. Jolteon is a very frail Pokemon by Gen 1 standards, with pitiful physical bulk, strong attacks from Pokemon like Tauros, Snorlax, and Rhydon can spell the end for it very quickly. The one Pokemon it's defensively valuable against is actually Zapdos, which happens to be its greatest competition. Zapdos is a phenomenal late game sweeper that dumps us unprepared teams, but even its viability is disputable due to how useless it can be against Rhydon teams itself. With issues against Chansey and Alakazam compounding this, for a very long time, Jolteon was seen as one of the biggest OU edge cases, relegated to being a mini Zapdos in the wider audience's eyes. This approach would first be challenged on RBY2K10 of the 9th of June 2010. RBY2K10 was a website continuing RBY tiering away from Smogon, which lacked the facilities for continuing RBY's viability based tiering. Tear Icy made a thread to discuss whether rising Jolteon was appropriate. He cited Jolteon's critical hit rate and how it abuses RBY's mechanics with Pin Missile and Double Kick, which was becoming more understood. Over the course of three turns, Jolteon will land a critical hit at least half the time, and multi-hit moves deal the same damage on as the first hit. With this, Jolteon is capable of smashing through Chansey with little luck, and a critical five-hit pin missile can Oko Executor. Lead Jolteon was also proposed, which was a decent niche pick over other paralysis leads, but it never truly caught on in standard play, though it still sees at least a little bit of usage. GG fan would counter the points regarding Jolteon's weaknesses to Rhino and Golem, specifically targeting the latter. If at around 60% HP, Golem is vulnerable to being 2 at KO by critical and double kick. He also brought up Thunder as an option to Oko Tauros with a critical hit, though this never caught on and Golem is since forward to never used. He would venture outside the focus on critical hits that others were delving into during the discussions though. Pin Missile's damage output averages at around half of Executor's health, and Chansey takes around 30% from a regular double kick, so it's really quite a bargain. Despite extremely low usage of a time, a point noted by Crystal as a counterpoint, these arguments were convincing enough for Water Wizard and Zilch to rise Jolteon to OU on its tier list. Jolteon's viability and unique coverage perks over Zapdos gave it enough viability over the other BL Pokemon, and so it rose to OU for the first time in history. In 2011, Smogon had a conflict with RBY2K10's philosophies. This resulted in Hitmon Lee conceding that 2K10 was going to tier RBY better, deleting BL on Smogon's site and opening the door for re-tiering itself. During this, Jolteon did not rise to OU on Smogon, instead being sent down to Underused. Jolteon would remain Underused on Smogon for the foreseeable future, while Dragonite and Cloyster would rise to OU instead. Regardless of this, when Pokemon Online adopted 2K10's tiers in 2012, Jolteon remained OU. This was even after the unbanned on wrap, which arguably boosted Jolteon's viability with safe opportunities to switch in. Jolteon just kind of sat on its newfound throne, but not many players really paid any mind. This was likely because players weren't really playing Gen 1 during this period, it was kind of a dark age for it. 
This is also likely why Jolteon didn't rise on Smogon either. Eventually, however, RBY began to rise again, and this meant players would begin to notice this Pogrog dog doing pin missiles in the corner. Pokemon Alliance Tears ended up being adopted on a website called Pokemon Perfect in 2014, which aimed to re-tier RBY completely due to the archaic methodology on which his tiers were made. With this in mind, Pokemon Alliance Tears were reviewed, and in February 2015, Jolteon and Persian were dropped to Tuyu, their equivalent of Swagon's unused. This was following arguments by players like Lutra, Golden Gyarados, and Marco ASD. However, players like Orthior and Disaster Area would push back on this. A council vote was held, and Jolteon rose back to 1U, their overused, on July 9th, 2015, with a 3 2 vote. This would be a contentious one given one player ended up deciding it, resulting in a new discussion thread and later a public vote. This vote would result in a 6 3 majority, further cementing Jolteon's OU placement by the end of Ju July 2015. With these repeated drops, we should talk about Yu Yu Jolteon for a moment. Yu Yu is a tier filled with many water types, some of which are the strongest in the game, and this makes it a very strong force in a tier when present. While Dugtrio, and on Pokemon Perfect, Rhydon, would be able to counter Jolteon, it does change the metagame by a significant amount. Being able to switch in on Tentacruel's Wrap and threaten it with not just Paralysis, but a massive amount of damage is something very few Pokemon in the tier can achieve consistently. It's never been overpowered, but it certainly gives the top tiers a run for their money when it's in the tier. On Smogon, after adopting the same RPY 2K10 tiers it rejected in May 2015, even more support for Jolteon's OU Rise would come up. It too was about to throw out the old tiers, with the 2016 viability rankings placing Jolteon firmly in B rank. After a six year long journey, it finally earned its respect, with everything converging into this reputable tier list. Third time's a charm, and Jolteon finally made it and it stayed there, with it remaining OU to this day. Jolteon's position in RBY has since become much less disputed since that fateful day in 2016. While some do still believe it should drop, it's positive to see much more prominence in the modern metagame. In fact, it's actually seen some development. In 2019, a player named Nails began using a team with Jinx, Starmy, and Rest Jolteon of all things. Rest Jolteon acts as a very serious wall against Zapdos, its main competition, while not being right on levels though, and vulnerable to some consistency issues. Jolteon uniquely compresses the role of electric type attacker and Zapdos wall, something that some teams appreciate. Additionally, Rest Jolteon has a much better matchup against Chansey, consistently beating it if it lacks counter and not caring much about Thunder Wave. These two perks have allowed Rest Jolteon to swiftly take over Pin Missile as a standard set for the past three years, and it doesn't seem to be changing anytime soon. Jolteon is the sole Pokemon to have risen to overuse three times in its lifespan. It's got a strange reputation, but remains one of the most successful competitive evolutions in the Pokemon history as a whole. Why not join the RBI Discord and take this badass doggo for a walk, eh? This was Plague Von Karma, and I'll see you all next time.